Hard to think of God at man's mercy, or of a garden and not regret the sin that brought us here, to the antipode of Eden, where no fruit grows but blood, stone, and tears. Midnight, a few sad olive trees, an ancient press stained black with oil, and a bit further off, a limestone outcrop where some seed or other may germinate, watered by the tears of God. No tears of ours, we can add nothing more to what must happen here tonight. Proud Peter with his sword, John with his love and philosophy, both sleep alike the sleep of utter bafflement. Why has he led us here to this worst of places, a walled garden where the only way out is through the gate, already blocked with shouts and torches, through the betrayer's kiss, through the cross, the tomb, and how are we to follow? Now begins the hour of darkness, all we believed could never happen, all that our theologies deny. From this point where our lives hang in the balance, our Lord goes forth to die. Weep, Lord, for all you take into you. Weep for the high priests and Pharisees, our doubles, for the imponderable, implacable will of God, for those who know not what they do, and for us who know the tale, yet turn again to sleep.